In this video, I will show you how you can take a piece of paper and simply grab some measurements, scale them down, and then draw them on your piece of paper and then measure the angle on that piece of paper and then measure the line on that piece of paper to calculate your stringer length. So another way to do it if this is going to be easier for you. So let's go ahead and start with a run of 5 foot 10 inches or the length of the stairway and the total rise or the height between the levels, upper level, lower level, where we're going to have 4 foot 1 inch. And for those of you who might do a little better understanding what the stair stringer is going to look like for these measurements, let's go ahead and fill that in along with the length of the board we're going to need to lay out our stair stringer. This will be the minimum length for these measurements. And let's go ahead and zoom out here. So we're starting with this right here to calculate the length of the stringer. And if you're starting with this right here and you're not working with a set of building plans, you actually have the measurements, you can lay it out on your project. You can simply measure from this point to this point. And if you end up with seven foot six inches, you can buy an eight foot piece of lumber for your stair stringers. However, if you have a set of building plans or you're designing a set of stairs and the Pythagorean theorem might be a little too difficult for you, just simply break these measurements down. I'm going to use six foot and go a little longer with this measurement and then go four foot for this measurement here. And all I'm going to do is scale down the length of the stairway. Instead of six foot, I'm going to use six inches. And instead of four foot one inch, I'm going to use four foot and three sixteenths of an inch. Or forget the three sixteenths of an inch and just use four foot. And when I draw that on my piece of paper, I'm just going to come off of the corner of the sheet of paper. This is a 90 degree angle on the piece of paper. So if I come off six inches and then go up four inches, I'm going to get seven and three sixteenths of an inch. And then I'm simply going to change this back to feet. Remember, this was six feet and four feet that I scaled down to four inches and six inches. So I'm just simply going to scale this up from seven and three sixteenths of an inch to just a little bit over seven feet. And I don't think you can get much simpler than that without using the Pythagorean theorem or actually measuring the actual distance on the job site. And if that doesn't make sense, let's go ahead and take an example where we might have seven foot three inches and five foot six inches. I'm just simply going to break those measurements down to a fraction because there are four three inch increments in a foot. So if I had any measurement around three inches, I could use the quarter inch to scale down my feet to inches in the same way I could do it up here. Five foot six inches would break down to a ratio of five and a half inches. And if I measure the length on my piece of paper and it's around nine inches, I know I'm going to need a nine foot board. And I'm not about to suggest this is going to provide you with accurate measurements, but it's usually going to be close enough. Since I can't get a nine foot piece of lumber, I'm going to get a 10 foot piece of lumber, providing me with plenty of room to lay out my stair stringers.